Here we're being asked to solve for a, so we just need to get this a by itself, and since it's on the right-hand side, we'll move those other two terms over to the left-hand side. So the a currently has a minus b term there with it, and a minus 4 term as well. So to get us started, I'm just going to rewrite the equation. And now that we have a little bit more room, I'm going to move those other terms one at a time. So starting with the minus b, the way I can move that to the other side is to undo subtracting b by using addition. I can add b to the right-hand side of the equation if I also add b to the left-hand side of the equation. And then on the right-hand side, those b's will cancel because minus b plus b gives us zero. So just to clean that up, we now have on the right-hand side the a, and the minus 4 is still there with it. On the left-hand side, the p plus b, those are not like terms. There's nothing that I can do other than just rewrite p plus b, since they're not like terms. And then, to continue trying to get the a by itself, we want to move that minus 4. So the way we can undo subtracting 4 is again to use addition. I can add 4 to the right-hand side, as long as I add 4 to the left-hand side as well. Once again, minus 4 plus 4 cancels, giving me the a by itself on the right-hand side. Cleaning up the left-hand side, we've got the p, the plus b, which is not a like term because they're different letters, and then we have that one number, plus 4, again, not like terms, so I can't clean that up any more than it already is. Our final answer is a equals p plus b plus 4.